Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan. Today is the final episode of my I Tried Low Carb Vegan for a Week series. In this video, I'm going to show you guys what I ate on days 5, 6, and 7 of my low carb week. And if you guys haven't seen my previous video where I show you what I ate on days 1 through 4, I'll leave a link to that down below in the description box. And if you haven't seen the first video of this series where I explain why I'm doing this and kind of go through the basics and also show you guys a grocery haul, I will leave a link to that down below as well. Anyways, without further ado, let's continue on with what I ate in a week as a low carb vegan part two. This is day five. We are starting the day off with some scrambled tofu. Of course, I have some veggies in there that is probably zucchini and mushrooms and maybe some onions. And I also added a piece of vegan cheese on top, some green onions as well, and a bunch of spices and stuff. And here I have also some avocado on the side, and I also added some ketchup on top. And then I was staying in my parents' house, and I found this little ball of rice that was left over, and I just had to eat it, you know what I mean? Okay, I know it's not low-carb, but... It's a very small piece, you know? And then I have this big salad on the side and now I'm having coffee. For lunch, I wanted to make a creamy avocado pasta sauce. So I have here some avocado, lemon. I also have some cilantro, some minced garlic and zucchini. So I just added a mixture of those ingredients into a blender and I'm just adding a small amount of non-dairy milk and I'm just blending it until it is nice and smooth. And I had this with those tofu shirataki noodles, those low carb, like really low calorie noodles that I bought. And um, I really don't like these noodles. I feel like the texture is just really weird and I mean there isn't really a taste but I just can't get over the texture. Um, but whatever, you know, that's what I had. So I'm having that with the sauce and I also added some mixed nuts there. And there's my lunch. And for a snack, I had this performance protein bar, peanut butter chocolate flavor. And I went to a cafe, had some more coffee, and now we're making dinner. So we're making zucchini noodles. Um, basically, I'm just using my spiralizer to spiralize a zucchini to make them into noodles. And I'm using that same sauce from earlier because I had some left over. I'm adding some salt. And on the side, I have some pan fried tofu. I also have some edamame beans, some cucumber, I also have some spinach that I made in like a Korean style. And I'm pretty sure that I showed you guys how to make this spinach dish in one of my videos before, so that link will be down below if you guys want to see how to make that spinach dish. And there's my dinner. Hey guys, so it is day five. I don't know why I'm standing here in front of this plant. Ah, that's better. It's very cold right now. Whew. So it's day five, and uh, so far, the one thing I've noticed is that I've had very bad sleep for the last few days. Now, it could be multiple other reasons, but it's pretty much consistently been every single day. I've had very, very bad sleep. Like last night, couldn't sleep till like 2.30. And then this morning I woke up early and it's just kind of, I don't know. Again, not sure if it has anything to do with not eating that many carbs compared to usual, but this morning I did feel very tired. That could probably be because I didn't get enough sleep. But in terms of, you know, the food and stuff, oh god, I just miss carbs. I really do miss carbs. Not that I'm not eating carbs, okay, don't get me wrong. Like, I had rice this morning because I it was just left over and I was like, I want that. After I eat a meal, I still feel like I want to eat more because there's something missing, you know? There's that element missing from my diet and I feel like carbs are like the general base of my diet. Don't know how people do this. I'm still having like slightly over 100 grams of carbs every day, some days a little bit more. So it's not an extreme low carb diet because I know some people eat like 40 grams of carbs and I'm like, I don't even know how that's possible. Anyways, that's the update. Mm-hmm. Welcome to day six. We are going to be making a smoothie. I'm using some extra soft tofu, some frozen raspberries, some non-dairy milk, and I have here some wild vanilla bean protein powder from Live Well, and we're just mixing that up. And the extra soft tofu basically helps the smoothie become very, very smooth <laughs> and creamy. And now I'm having a little snack. I just have some carrots and celery with some hummus. And for lunch, I am just heating up some of the leftover soup. I believe I made this on day four, and it's basically just a tofu and vegetable soup with a Korean spicy sauce. And if you guys want to see how I made it, you can watch my previous video. 
and I went to the mall and I got a coffee. Yay! For dinner, I actually bought this Soul Burger, which uh, I was just craving like some kind of fake meat. <laughs> I think I just got sick of tofu and like, I don't know, I just got sick of something. And so I was having that with some vegan cheese. I have some fried tofu, some fried bok choy, and some guacamole that I made. And I had another burger as well. So yeah, I had two of those burgers because it was super yummy. And finally, we are on the final day of low carb vegan. For breakfast, I actually ended up making a soft tofu stew. This is a very popular Korean dish. And yes, I have done a video on this before, so I will leave a link to the recipe down below. But I actually ended up adding some smoked tofu in this dish because smoked tofu is delicious. And I also didn't have that much soft tofu, so that's the one thing I changed. But yeah, it was yummy. And of course, this bag of veggie straws was just lying around the house and calling my name, so I had to have it, even though it's not low carb, but you know, it's not the worst. <laughs> so yeah, I had that with some hummus. This is why I cannot have things like this laying around in my vicinity because I will eat it, okay, for show. Sure. And of course, I'm cheating again by having a fruit by the foot. Yeah, I'm the worst. So this is one of those days where I believe I had a very late breakfast. So instead of a lunch, I just had a bit of a snack. Here is just some protein powder mixed with some ice and non-dairy milk. Just blended together for a nice protein snack. And for my final supper, oh my gosh, I had to have more of those burgers. I'm having two of those soul burgers. One of them is covered with chow vegan cheese, which I love. And I have on the side some air fried Brussels sprouts. I also have a nice salad, just a spinach salad with some avocado on top with a bit of dressing. And that pretty much wraps it up. Okay guys, so it's been about a week and a half since my low carb diet has ended and um, well, I can just tell you that I am not gonna go back to that, okay? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I think it's definitely doable if you're a vegan and if you wanna follow low carb, but I will tell you one thing, it is definitely more expensive. Most of the foods that you can eat as a vegan that's like relatively inexpensive are going to be relatively high in carbs. So I think you can follow like a moderately low carb vegan diet and still save a lot of money and stuff because then you can incorporate a lot of beans. But if you're gonna do like super low carb, you're gonna have to eat like lots of, I don't know, nuts and seeds and tons of tofu. So I know tofu is cheap in some parts of the world, but it's also expensive in other parts of the world. So it depends on where you are in the world, I guess. So one of the things I did notice about low carb eating is that I definitely felt fuller for a longer period of time. So I didn't need to eat as often and I didn't find myself as hungry. That being said, I also did not feel as satisfied after a meal. So I would eat a meal and I would continuously want to eat more. But for a while after the meal, you wouldn't feel hungry. So that's definitely one big pro to having a higher protein and higher fat intake is that you will feel less hungry throughout the day. So that's very, very different from like a high carb meal. So if you eat like a super high carb meal, but very low protein and very low fat, then you might feel very full and very satisfied initially right after you eat, but you're probably gonna feel hungry very quickly because carbs, I don't know, they just go through you very quickly. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I like to have a balance. I like to have a nice balance of carbs and also protein and fat. Another thing I noticed during my week was that I felt like I didn't get very good sleep. It could be a lot of different things, but that's one thing I did notice. I had trouble falling asleep. I would wake up in the middle of the night randomly, which usually never happens to me. It rarely happens to me. So that was interesting. And that affected my energy levels, I believe. I would feel tired throughout the days, stuff like that. One thing that was a positive thing was that I definitely ate more vegetables just because I needed more like filler food because normally I would eat like, you know, rice or noodles, like that's my the base of my meal, but because you get rid of that, I don't really know what to eat. So I have to incorporate some more vegetables. I need to fill something on the plate. So I definitely found myself eating more vegetables. That was one big positive thing. Oh, and I did lose three pounds during that week. I kind of knew I would lose some weight because I knew that carbs hold a lot of water weight, so I knew I would lose some water weight. So I did lose three pounds, but of course I gained it all back <laughs> after I started eating carbs again. But yeah, I think that's why a lot of people do low carb is like because you do lose weight initially, but who knows if it's real weight and how long can you actually sustain that diet? That's the question. Again, I'm not here to 
preach. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but so that's my experience, uh, low carb dieting. It wasn't fun. Uh, I wouldn't do it again. I'm sure there's a lot of meals that I could have made that I didn't make. I'm sure there's a lot of things that I could have eaten that I didn't eat, but I ate a lot of tofu. I ate a lot of nuts. I ate a lot of seeds. I ate lots of vegetables. And I did eat some like processed meats and stuff like that. I did find myself craving a lot of random like carby junk food. I just wanted to eat anything that was carbs. I wanted to eat like candy and stuff. And I never craved candy, but I was craving candy because I was probably just like wanting carbs of any sort. That was my experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting. And um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.